I come from the fortunate position in that I really enjoy it. I just really like swimming, biking, and running, and that's why I got into it. I didn't get into it to try and prove anything or to, to, to be competitive by nature. I'm not really a competitive person. I just like swimming, biking, and running. As a former professional Ironman triathlete, a two-time Canadian 50-kilometer ultramarathon champion, and co-founder of Vega Plant-Based Nutrition, Brendan Brazier knows a thing or two about preparing for competition. His first rule of thumb? Fuel smart. One of the important things about picking your nutrition plan is being mindful of your athletic goals. Obviously, eating different ways can lead to different results. Training for an endurance event like an Ironman? You'll need to amp up your protein and fat intake. Crushing a hit or boot camp class? Think easily digestible carbs that your body can use as clean burning fuel. Afterwards, you want some protein, but you want the carbs as well. So a four to one carb protein ratio is generally really good right after workout. And that helps absorb, uh, it helps your muscles absorb the carbs as well as the protein. Eating is only part of the puzzle. Just as important as what you put in your body is giving it the rest it needs. That starts with setting the tone for optimal sleep. As you want to be in a, in a dark or at least a, a dim room before, and you'll notice when you start to feel a little bit cooler and even a little bit chilled, that's the sign that melatonin is getting released, and that means you're going to sleep better. Great sleep and having a game plan are critical before a big day of competition. I think it's just really knowing that you've done everything, you're prepared, you're organized, you know exactly what you're going to do in the morning when you get up, like it's be second nature, you don't have to make any decisions, you make those all the night before. How you perform hinges on how you train too. According to Brazier, there are advantages and disadvantages to doing that with a partner or coach. Come time to tow the starting line, it's going to be you and you alone. Maybe you have to work on your speed so you run with someone faster for example, or you know, someone to, to keep you entertained on a long run when you're just trying to build fitness and you're not working on your mental fitness. But as people know, Ironman is, um, a lot of it's mental and training partners can make you mentally weak if you're too dependent on them. So making sure you get in those long solo rides and runs and just knowing how you're gonna respond when, when you know you're out there on your own because inevitably that's what's gonna happen on race day is you're just gonna be alone and you gotta deal with it. Once you've mastered your nutrition plan, sleep schedule and landed the right training partner. It's time to focus in on why you're racing, says Brazier. That's what makes it all worth it. You know, there's a million different things myself or anyone else who's out there could be doing, but we're there for a reason, we've chosen it. Um, some people choose it as a challenge, obviously, to themselves or just to others even to, to prove something. But for me, it, it's really never been that. It's just been the enjoyment of, of being out there and um, the feeling of of movement.